The Lower Northeast, especially communities like Lawncrest and Mayfair, have experienced an issue with absentee landlords the past few years. The block of 600 Brill Street in Lawncrest, for instance, has several properties with owners based in New York and Delaware, not in Philadelphia. Residents have spoken out about failure to maintain properties, noise violations, and what they see as a change in their communities. I think it's very important that um, the na neighbors are aware of who owns the property. In case there is a problem, that that person is responsible and can be contacted because a lot of time on rental properties, you really don't have that information. And of course, the renter is not going to cooperate at all because they don't even want to know that you disapprove of what they're doing. Actually, about 15 years ago when I lived in Albany, we had people who um, rented across the street on a corner property, let it become like a real trash bin. It was a beautiful property. They moved in, they never took care of it. We never could find out who actual owner was because every time we, even when we approached approach the people that lived there, they wouldn't give us any information. But um, it was, a, it was a really a very uncomfortable situation to be with, plus the parties and the carrying on on the weekends and drugs on the corner. So that was like really a problem. We could have used more information to try to, you know, finally they moved, but it, we went through a lot of trouble before that, the neighbors did. I think what is going before the city council right now, through uh, Councilwoman Marion Tasco, I heard on the news where she's saying that the uh, owner of the property, there should be an address not just a P.O. box, there should be a definitely an address and a phone number that could be contacted or a person responsible for that property, like a property manager. If that need be, if, they're, if the owner's not going to live in the city, then there should be someone responsible in the city who you could contact immediately. Civic associations and town watch groups are partnering with residents, licenses and inspections, and the local city council representative to address the issue. Officer Maraz testified last week in city council on a bill that I had introduced, because we've gotten a lot of complaints about uh, people coming from New York, buying up properties, and then just putting a lot of people in there, and there's no management or anything like that. So he gave a very strong, compelling argument uh, to the uh, committee that was held holding the hearings, and I really appreciated him coming down. And uh, he also offered a suggestion Right now, the bill requires that every property, multifamily property, has to have an identifiable manager. So you can't just have a telephone uh, line uh, and uh, uh, where you call and make a complaint. We have to ID the owner. Jennifer Reardon and Maria Conadaris, Philadelphia Neighborhoods, Northeast Philadelphia.